Hi, and welcome to the MyTel Visual Workflow Manager Scalable, Resilient, and Highly Available IVR Network Architecture Overview Demonstration. A contact center IVR must be a scalable and redundant solution. Scalability must not increase the complexity of maintaining an IVR solution as it grows, as increased time spent on IVR maintenance translates into increased maintenance costs. Redundancy must also ensure that maintenance and day-to-day -day operations do not affect service levels. Without redundancy, it is dif difficult to perform system maintenance or upgrades without affecting service to your customers. Redundancy is also important because key business applications require continuous server uptime. Now, you may be wondering why your contact center needs a scalable IVR solution. Well first, your system must be able to grow as your business grows. As your customer base increases, your system must be able to grow to accommodate a higher volume of calls. As your customers become more geographically dispersed, your system may need to become geographically distributed in order to handle interactions more effectively. How does Visual Workflow Manager provide scalability? First, by distributing call loads across multiple instances of Visual Workflow Manager, which can be managed from a single user interface using your site explorer. This allows a number of Visual Workflow Manager instances to scale up as the business grows, supporting geographically dispersed instances of the software. With the MCD 5.0 RAD optimization feature, Visual Workflow Manager also reduces the number of ports required for common IVR tasks by dynamically sharing ports between hunt groups. You may be wondering why your contact center needs an IVR that supports resiliency. This is because your IVR is often the first interaction that customers have with your business or contact center, and customers form opinions based on these first impressions. Without a resilient IVR system, you may lose calls, and lost calls can lead to lost customers and lost opportunities. So you need to be able to provide reliable service 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Visual Workflow Manager provides resiliency by supporting multiple 3300 ICP telephone systems with, with redundant ports to compensate when one system goes down. With resilient ports across 3300 ICP controllers and self-sufficient remote Visual Workflow Manager instances, your IVR system can continue to function even if the primary site or database is offline. Now let's take a look at how this works. First, we'll look at the basic Visual Workflow Manager configuration. This is the most simple configuration, consisting of one Visual Workflow Manager server and one 3300 ICP controller. This is the starting point for most contact centers. Within this scenario, if Visual Workflow Manager instance fails or the 3300 ICP fails, callers will not be able to contact the business. The first level of resiliency is provided through a single Visual Workflow Manager instance connected to multiple 3300 ICP controllers. In this configuration, multiple 3300 ICP controllers offer a basic level of load balancing and resiliency. If one controller goes down, the second controller can handle the remaining call load. Because this configuration relies on a single visual workflow manager instance, this is the lowest level of redundancy available for your IVR solution. Here, you'll notice that calls come from the PSTN to two 3300 ICP controllers with calls load balance between the two telephone systems. These route to the Contact Center Management Enterprise Server, which houses Visual Workflow Manager and the IVR Writing System, over a business's LAN, which is also connected to a SQL Server database, your Site Explorer, which is the single point of administration and configuration for your IVR system, and your Contact Center agents. Calls come in from the PSTN to the ports on the primary 3300 ICP, and are then routed to the Contact Center Management Enterprise Server, which is co-located with Visual Workflow Manager. In the event of a failure on the primary 3300 ICP controller, calls are routed to the redundant controller and back to the enterprise server, which ensures that calls are not dropped and continue to be routed in the event of a failure. The next level of redundancy and scalability is provided through redundant Visual Workflow Manager instances. In this scenario, the primary Visual Workflow Manager instance is co-located with the Contact Center Management Enterprise Server. The secondary Visual Workflow Manager instance resides on a remote server. Each instance of Visual Workflow Manager is assigned 50% of the ports and is configured with a matching set of redundant ports. If one server instance fails, it can use the redundant ports to handle the full call load. Now let's take a look at how this works. Here, you'll notice that calls come in from the PSTN and are then routed to a 3300 ICP controller, which routes 50% of the call load to both instances of the Visual Workflow Management server. 
one standalone remote instance, and the other co-located with the enterprise server. In this configuration, we have two SQL Server databases, which are mirrored to provide single point of administration through your Set Explorer. Ports are interleaved on the telephone system to distribute 50% of the call traffic to each Visual Workflow Manager instance, and each instance has an equal number of active and redundant ports. The Contact Center Management Enterprise Server is collecting data and operating normally, but in the event that there is a failure on the Enterprise Server, for example due to a hardware failure, the remote instance of the Visual Workflow Manager will begin handling 100% of the call traffic, while redundant ports are used to handle the extra call load and the local data cache is used while the connection to the Enterprise Server is down. This ensures that your IVR continues to operate normally in the event of a failure on the Enterprise Server. The final scenario is a fully resilient controller configuration with redundant visual workflow manager instances. This is a combination of the last two scenarios. In this configuration, there are dedicated visual workflow manager servers with a mirrored instance of the Eursite database for each visual workflow manager instance. Remote instances of visual workflow manager can be geographically dispersed for an added level of resiliency. In this scenario, if the enterprise server fails, Visual Workflow Manager instances are unaffected. Having fully resilient controllers within this configuration enables businesses to ensure that if one telephone system fails, the others will pick up the call traffic and keep the business operating as expected. Now let's take a look at how this works. In this example, we have four 3300 ICP controllers with calls interleaved between telephone systems and remote standalone instances of Visual Workflow Manager. You'll notice that each Visual Workflow Manager instance has a SQL Server instance containing a mirror of the data configured on the Enterprise Server. You'll also notice that the Your Site Explorer application can be run on a supervised desktop as a single point of administration and configuration for the entire IVR network configuration. This configuration provides full resiliency and redundancy for the IVR writing solution. Here you'll notice that the Enterprise Server does not have an active instance of the Visual Workflow Manager writing calls. It is used only as a central point of configuration. Ports are interleaved to distribute 50% of the call traffic from each controller to each Visual Workflow Manager instance, and each instance has an equal number of active and redundant ports. Dedicated Visual Workflow Manager servers allow for full resource utilization on the server, as no services are shared with the Enterprise Server. In the event of a failure on a 3300 ICP, calls begin being routed through the secondary controller and Visual Workflow Manager instances fail over to the secondary controller and continue to route calls. In the event of a failure on a Visual Workflow Manager server, for example, due to a sustained power outage, a remote instance of Visual Workflow Manager will begin routing 100% of the call traffic as redundant ports come into use to handle the added call load. In the event of a failure in the link between the remote server and the enterprise server, calls continue to be routed using configuration data from the local server cache. This example provides the highest level of resiliency, redundancy, and high availability for the Contact Center Solutions IVR writing software. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more about Mitel IVR writing and the Visual Workflow Manager application, visit mitel.com.